Hello everyone, how's it going? I hope you all are doing amazing. If you're new here, hello, welcome to my channel. I'm the Intuitive Rose, nice to meet you. If you're not new here, hello and welcome back. I'm so happy you joined me again today. So today, y'all, we're going to do another pick a card reading on this topic. So feel free to choose between pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three, all right? And if you feel drawn to, feel free to choose more than one. That's, again, only if you feel drawn to. So we have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Let's begin. All right, so if you chose pile number one, this is your reading, pile number one. So let's see, what is the tea on you this week? All right, someone here could be celebrating a birthday. If so, happy birthday. This could also be just going to someone else's, you know, celebration today or this week. All right, so that may be relevant, celebrating something this week. Besides, of course, Thanksgiving, there may be someone that has um, a birthday over the holidays. All right, we have Six of Wands and the Death card here. All right, someone here could have just stopped something. You could have stopped pursuing something. And the tea on you this week is you could be uncertain as to why, okay? There are some things that you may be in need of figuring out right now. Um, the tea on you this week is that you may feel a little lost, okay? I'm not saying you are lost. You may feel like you are, all right? The Six of Wands and then the Death and the Moon, it's like, you know, something started, but then it stopped. Or you started something, but then you stopped it, all right? This is the tea on you, all right? Someone here could, you know, maybe you said you were going to do something, but you, you know, ended up f um, not following through with it, okay? There could have been maybe a change of mind, change of plans, the Ten of Wands came out, so it's possible, you know, you may feel a little overwhelmed, okay? There may be a lot of pressure on you right now as well. You could be trying to make everyone happy, but you're not happy, you know? So, for example, say this is career-related. We got Six of Swords. Yeah, there's a need of kind of finding your own thing right now, kind of finding your flow, all right? The tea on you this week is that you may feel like you are pressured to pursue something or maintain something and it just feels like it's too much for you right now and I say right now because you know you never know how you will feel a month from now you know or a day from now I don't know take it how it resonates it just feels like you may need some time to you know regroup you know think things over handle some things there is a need to respect and um, be truthful and honor yourself right now, okay? So what it is that you are feeling like it's too much to do, then it is, all right? The tea on you this week is that you may actually need to tell someone no, okay? It does feel like there are some things that just needs to be done, okay? I don't know what this is. Some of you, you know, maybe this has to do with cleaning up, clearing up things or clearing up your schedule, this could just be clearing up anything, okay? I do sense you just have too much you have to get done and you could be adding more to to your plate by trying to maintain, sustain something, okay? All right, let's see. The T on, we have the Empress. Yeah, there is a need to take care of yourself. There's a need to regroup. I keep getting that message. You may need to reprioritize some things. Yeah, something that you were able to do, say, a month ago, a year ago, it doesn't feel like you're able to do it now. It's, it's like something changed, okay? Something was added or you have too many things you have, you know, going on. There's too many things that need to be fixed, completed, paid for, okay? So you are in need of telling someone no. You are also in need of, you know, giving yourself some slack all right stop piling so much work on you all right and this is the t you you really do need to put something else first okay yeah you can't keep piling up work and expecting it to get done 
because there's only but so many hours in the day, right? Especially if you have other things you have to do. Say you're a mom or a dad or you're a full-time student, you're in school studying. So it's like there's other things that you have to take into consideration that you have to do as a human being. You know, there's other responsibilities that require your attention right now. So I do, you know, feel like there's too much being piled up on you. Okay, and it does feel like you're doing it to yourself respectfully. Okay, I say that respectfully. Um, let's see, the T, yeah, we got the tower. It's like something needs to change, especially if you want to change in, um, in your finances. The T on you is that you are in need of making some, some sacrifices. You're not going to be able to, um, Okay, the three of cups came out in reverse. Okay, so this could be you're not going to be able to go out to every event. You're not going to be able to celebrate everybody's birthday. You can, you know, get get your friend or your partner a gift that does not cost so much. Okay, yeah, the tea on you this week is that you are really in need of understanding that times have changed something has changed where you cannot go on this shopping spree or you cannot stay up all night or you know drink drink all day party all night i don't know it's something that you're doing that you know you cannot do anymore or at least not right now there's things that you have to take care of okay and you may be realizing too like okay like my body can't handle this no more or things you know aren't the way they used to be so times have definitely changed and you are in need of honoring that we have the heart on the ace of wands i just feel like there's a change that needs to take place okay this is the t the higher font to you know maybe you need to step away from this standard that you gave yourself you know whether this was a month ago a year ago it's something that you you said you'll do or keep up with, whether this is a routine, a plan, you know, timeline, something you gave yourself a while ago or recently. Spirit is just making me feel like times have changed. Things have changed. Circumstances have changed. So why not honor those changes? OK, yeah. The number 15 could be relevant. We have the death card. Okay, so I did put that death card right back in that deck and it came right back out. So again, repetitive energy too. You know, this may be a pattern that's being shown to you. Something is being shown to you this week and it has to do with you. Um, also, how you're showing up for people and not yourself. Okay, especially if you have things that you get, you have to get done and you are showing up for other people, you're going to notice you're not able to get something done because how can you if you are, you know, doing it for everyone else, you know, accepting every favor that someone is asking of you. Okay, there's really a need of being selfless right now, but also paying attention to what your needs are, what actually needs to be done, what needs to be worked on, what needs to be you know, accomplished. Okay, there are some things that you are putting off. But I do see it's because of, you know, other people, as well, other people in need of your help or want your help. Okay. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. I did see angel number 555. And it's almost 222 on the timestamp. So you know, those angel numbers may be relevant. Okay, there is a need to to tell people no. All right, it puts your responsibilities first. Okay, so we're going to jump into part number two of the reading. So if this is resonating with you, come on over to Patreon, okay? All right, so if you chose part number two, this is your reading, part number two. So let's see, what is the T on you? All right, do keep in mind that this reading will have two parts to it. The first part is the part that you're listening to now, and then the second part will be available on Patreon. All right, so let's see. We got three cards. Oh, I'm sorry, four cards. And I swear I shuffled, y'all, but these are the same cards that came out in pile number one. So you guys may have definitely come from pile one, or you may have felt drawn to pile number one. So there may be a message in there for you. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Death card, Tower, and Six of Swords. So that is two major arcanas. All right. So with the Ace of Pentacles and the death, I feel like there's a change approaching when it comes towards your finances. All right. The Ace of Pentacles, this could also be, you know, this week you could have made like a quick 
you know, a quick stop somewhere. You could have picked up something, say this was like a lottery ticket, a scratch off, or, you know, you went to a, a, I don't know what those, a thrift shop or something. You got a good sale. You got a good deal. I don't know. It's something that you invested in, but it turns out it's, it's more than that. Or you get more than what, you know, you have expected. All right. I see that here. So the telling you, you may actually be surprised or there may already have been a surprise this week. Yeah. So I do feel like with the Ace of Pentacles too, you have been enjoying, you know, comfortable living. All right. It may not be completely comfortable but it's enough where you're able to still live your life okay still go out occasionally or still have those moments of indulgences occasionally okay there's something that you're doing occasionally okay so i do see you are budgeting you are being smarter with your spending okay and because of that you're able to see some sort of gain yeah i do feel like there was a period you know maybe you were worrying you were um, like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how I'm going to be able to afford this. But then I see circumstances changed for you. All right. So this could be what's already happening, you know, or this could be what's coming in for you. All right. We have the Queen of Wands, the judgment. All right. There may be, hmm, hold on. Let's see before I say page of swords. Okay. There could also be a fire sign that's like keeping tabs on you. Yeah. It could be a Leo Aries Sagittarius. Okay, heavy on the Leo. All right, we have Queen of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so I do feel like you have you have people that watch you and they compare the things that you invest in or the things that you talk about, the things that you, you know, you're doing. Okay, like for example, I'm just going to use this as an example. Say you posted something on uh, TikTok. You know, people are looking at your hashtags. They're looking at, you know, what you're writing in the description box, the bio. All right. The TOU is that you do have people that pay attention to every little detail. Yeah, you could be someone that you like to do everything perfectly. Okay. Maybe perfectionist. It doesn't have to be a perfectionist. It could just be, you know, you like things to be a certain way. You like them to be organized a certain way. All right. So I do see the tell you is that people are starting to see this or they may notice this quality and they may pick up on it. You know, they want to follow after. All right. Yeah. The seven of pentacles. It, it makes me think of like someone could be thinking about like how you do something, how you did something. How you made something, I don't know. The two on you is that you could have made something like taste really good or look really good. All right. And someone's trying to get it the same way, like the exact same way. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Anything else for what is the T on Ponomer 2? Page of Swords came back out. I'm telling you, you have a lot of people that are watching you. And there's a fire sign in specific because why did I put those cards back and they came back out? All right. And Aries call also be relevant. Okay, the T on you, Five of Swords. Someone could also be mad that you're helping someone out. Yeah, or that you're able to help someone out. Okay, that could be relevant. Yeah, maybe you stepped in, you took someone's role, you took someone's place. All right, not saying you walked in wanting to do that, but someone may feel like you took their spot. Okay, something that they used to be asked to do now you're being asked to do it or something that they used to do now you're doing it okay yeah something like this here the five of swords mm -hmm. all right i do feel like there's an energy of you doing something better or someone prefers you okay yeah we have the fool and the star these are two major arcanas Okay, the T on you is that you could also be paying more attention to your health. You could be tracking something, maybe tracking calories, or you could be trying to start a weight loss program, or maybe you're trying to gain weight. Take out my resonate. This health could also refer to mental health, okay? Your health is a priority, all right? Or at least you have been paying um, a little bit more attention to it, okay? Yeah, I do feel like you are paying attention to yourself a lot more all right yeah we have four of cups you could be okay four of cups nine of wands the team on youtube is like you could be you know coming up with <laughs> okay this is gonna sound weird but you may be coming up with things on the top of your head like um i gotta i gotta make a target run or 
I gotta go to get a, I don't know, laundry detergent. And you may not have to do these things, but the tea on you is that you may be trying to make up things just to get away, just to, um, just to get outside, get some fresh air, just to step away a little bit from the kids, just to get a little break for yourself. Okay, I see this here. This is the T on you. And hey, this is definitely self care. This is a form of self care. So maybe this is how you're showing up for yourself or you're putting your, your health first by doing this, you know? Yeah, I'm hearing that saying a little lie never hurt nobody. So yeah, you may be telling a little white lie. Okay, we got the King of Wands. There's a lot of fire. Some of you, your parent, you know, father, mother, y'all may have a parent that's a fire sign. Okay, I do feel like the tea on you this week is that they may be trying to get in contact with you or they want more contact from you. Okay, take how many resonate because the Page of Swords came out twice. There is definitely someone that is keeping tabs on you because you aren't keeping tabs on them okay or you're not giving them any information or you cut them off or you're just not talking that much to them take it how it may resonate but i do see there's a fire sign who wants more of your attention okay so yeah we're gonna jump into part number two so if this is resonating with you come on over to patreon okay all right so if you chose part number three this is your reading part number three so let's see what is the tea on you this week okay so do keep in mind that this reading will have two parts to it. The first part is the part that you're listening to now. And then the second part will be available on Patreon, okay? So we already got some interesting cards. We got the Hangman, Three of Swords, and the Page of Wands. What's going on? Okay, so the TLU, Power Number 3, something has you in like a chokehold. Something is troubling you, disturbing you. And I feel like you may just be uncertain as to like how to go about it, how to how to move forward or what reaction should you give it? You know, there seems to be a whole bunch of uncertainty right now. The letter G could be relevant. I'm also seeing like go. So monopoly could also be relevant. OK, but again, I think it goes back to where do I go from here? You know, how do I move ahead? How do I move forward? All right, for some of you guys, this may include a marriage. This may include a partnership. Um, some of you guys, this may include like confessing, confessing feelings. This could just talk about how you're feeling. Okay, the T on you is that you you really are in a chokehold. Someone got you in a chokehold. Okay, the Three of Swords too could talk about things that you know you have not healed from yet. All right, the Page of Wands next to it makes me think of inner child wounds. All right, things that you have been suppressing for a long time since you were a child okay fire energies here um yeah so that could be what's creating this blockage here all right you're not being able to move forward because spirit you know god the universe wants you to acknowledge something they want you to pay attention to something something is right you know in front of you but you may be trying to turn the opposite way okay and in order for you to move forward, it's like you're going to have to address something here. You're going to have to you're going to have to speak up too. you're going to have to speak up about how you feel. For some of you, this does not include, you know, cursing someone out. This may just be a, a conversation with yourself. Yeah, a conversation with yourself, telling yourself, you know, or not necessarily telling yourself, but speaking out loud so that you can hear yourself and you know process emotions process feelings process those thoughts all right some of you guys the tea on you this week is that you may need to journal or maybe you have been journaling okay i do feel like all three piles had an energy of needing to get away needing to just you know regroup find yourself find a moment of solitude peace meditation okay so it's it's kind of it's a little sad because this is you know thanksgiving week so holidays may not be something that you find amusing it may be triggering and it, it may be hard because you know this is the time where family is supposed to be together but you may not be around family or you may not feel like you know times is good right now to even be talking to family or maybe family is not family take it how it may resonate but there's something that's just troubling you that's heavy on your heart like i can actually 
I can feel this energy. It makes me want to like cry. So the tea on you is that you may be in need of feeling like those feelings and acknowledging them, processing them. Okay. Yeah. Neptune could be relevant. I'm not really sure what that is, but uh, we have Ten of Cups, Will of Fortune. The Ten of Cups, I think, came out in every pile. And the Ten of Cups is that family card. So there has been a change of family dynamic, okay? There's been a change of circumstances when it comes to the family. Something has changed. This can even be a, um, a relationship with somebody. Something is just not the same, okay? So I do feel like you are having a hard time just, you know, putting on a face to people. Like, it's making me think of that commercial, I don't know what this commercial is, but it's that that commercial where they're like walking and they all have like this paper mask on their face and it has a smiley face, but behind that mask, they're sad, okay? So there's an energy of hiding and, and masking how you truly feel, you know, whether you, you just don't know how to speak about it or you can't speak about it, you don't feel safe to speak about it. You know, take it how it may resonate with you, but I do feel like it's very important for you to process these emotions, okay? And the tea on you this week is that you will, you know, be feeling stuck until you, until you do that, until you talk to someone. For some of you, maybe you just need a good conversation with your therapist, okay? I can see that here. You know, you just need a vent. You just need to get some things off your chest, okay? And that may be when something clicks for you is when you are just talking, chatting about you know, how things been for you. I do feel like there's a need to be honest here. All right. I did get that upon number one. You could have maybe, um, you could have came from upon number one. All right. We got eight of pentacles. The tea on you this week is that you may also be taking a break from work. There may be a change in, um, there may be something cha that changes when it comes towards work. Okay. The justice eight of pentacles. Something is different when it comes towards work. Someone here got a new boss or there's new rules, there's new regulations. I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay. There may be something like this here. So yeah, we got the four of pentacles. Okay. I'm hearing that saying too, misery loves company. There's definitely someone around you that's miserable. Okay. And you are being asked to not feed into it. Don't feed into the drama. Don't feed into the BS. Okay. Okay yeah don't feed into it chris brown could be relevant i'm just hearing a song by him okay what is it no bs that's what it is <laughs> so yeah some of you guys the tea on youtube is that you could be getting drunk this week okay cheers all right i don't know if this will be a good thing you know i don't know if i should have cheered that so hmm i don't know the sun card we got the world the sun and the hermit this came out too in pile number two the world, the sun, the hermit. There's just a lot of reflection this week, okay? There's a lot of things that you will be reflecting on. Um, I feel like you guys will be trying to lean more um, towards the things that just make you happy. And even the people, okay? And you may notice it's not who you thought it was, you know? Who, who you thought would make you happy. Or some of you guys, you may be realizing you're putting expectations on people that just cannot fulfill those things for you. All right. There's just a lot of changes that's happening in your inner world and outer world. Okay. So yeah, we're going to jump into part number two. So if this is resonating with you, part number three, come on over to Patreon. Okay.